We all know that parents, well, they do a lot. And if you are a busy mom or dad, or even if you don't have kids and you feel like you're just doing too much, our next guest is here to help. She's going to share five healthy tips for the overly busy moms in our world, or just really the overly busy people. Anna Rose, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, so as a mom, I always tend to put myself last, and I know that I am not the only one that deals with this type of situation. Uh, yeah, you're certainly not. I feel like whether it's uh, a certain week out of the year, a month, maybe just a day in particular, you feel like you're taking on too much. You have some great advice for those out there that just need a yes. little time. They need to relax. So let's jump in with your first tip. Um, hey, there's yes. nothing wrong with binge watching. Nothing wrong with binge watching at all. Ladies, I am one for a nice glass of red in the evening. It's healthy. It's good for the blood flow. One glass is perfect. Sit on that couch with your favorite blanket, cuddle up and binge watch your favorite show. That is talking self-love right there to me. Yeah, and hey, you gotta catch up on the conversation so you have something to talk about at work the next day, right? Everyone's chirping about all these oh, yeah. shows. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> work, school drop off, you name it. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's some great advice. All right, next up, get outside, maybe just take a walk. Uh, yes, get outside, take a walk. You know, we struggle with day-to-day -day challenges, and sometimes it's just nice to unplug for a little bit, get out, take a nice deep breath of that fresh, crisp air, and just, again, unplug. Look at the beauty of the nature around you. Talk about some, you know, daily affirmations. I am, I will, I am grateful for. It's always good to have yourself be aligned and in touch with what is important to you and who you are. And I like the idea of saying those affirmations outside of your home when you could probably look around and see all of those little day-to-day -day tasks that are building up. Get outside yeah. of that, of your element there. Absolutely. Being outside does something different to me personally. First of all, I'm alone. I don't have any distractions around me. And it is something about the human body and nature, that connection and that alignment that you can have with you know, the universe around you. It's wonderful. Yeah. All right. Your next tip is maybe it's also something you can do outside work out, but how, for how long? Oh yeah. So honestly, you don't need to work out more than 30 minutes a day. If that's all you got, then Hey, that is just perfection. Do your favorite workout, whether it's outside, you're taking a jog. If you have children, throw them in that jogger stroller and go ahead for a nice, beautiful walk. Nothing should stop you from taking care of you. Or if you love doing some workouts at home, um, YouTubing, or if you have a bike or a treadmill, anything will help you achieve that goal that you need to de-stress and keep you fit and healthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a really good stress reliever there. Uh, next yeah. up, you need to relax. Another way to relax is just by calming your body. Maybe not revving it up with a workout, but doing the opposite. Absolutely. So. There's a way that I calm my body in the evening, and that's with meditation, breathing exercises, stretching, even just some yoga. I'll just, again, grab a video on YouTube for beginner's yoga, and just that stretching and that breathing works hand in hand. Mm -hmm. It is really nice yeah. to just calm your mind, especially as you're unwinding yeah. for the day. And Absolutely. speaking of, of the end of the day, there's something you can do to prep for the next day. Yes. Yeah, so if I don't do this in the evening, when I wake up, it's like chaos for me. I don't like waking up wondering, what is it that I have to do today? What do I have going on? No, just take, it's literally 10 minutes. It's not much. Take 10 minutes, sit down. I sit down with my, I need an agenda book. I have to physically write everything. So I sit down with Thanks. my agenda book. And again, if it's with your favorite tea or a glass of red, just have that unwinding time. Open your, open your to do your agenda list and write everything down prepare yourself the night before it helps you when you wake up in the morning have a little bit of a clear more of a clear mind yeah definitely or maybe a, pack a couple things for the kids lunches whatever it is right. whatever is making your morning stressful take a little bit off that plate i love that idea exactly exactly you're setting the tone for the next day yeah set that tone <laughs> all right anna rose thank you so much for joining us and for sharing all five of your tips absolutely thank you so much for having me and we're going to post them up on our website as well so you can keep this in mind for your day-to-day -day routine so you don't overwork yourself either. Just go to roadshow.com.